Welcome to the French Drayman channel. I'm your host Robert Sherwood. I want to talk to you about all the features of our vented cleanout leaf filter. And I want to explain why we made it and why we made it the way we did. We want to talk about the gutter adapter. The gutter adapter takes you from the gutter downspout that runs down your house, down the side of your house, it takes you from that to the pipe. The problem, and nobody wants to talk about this, if you look inside these, you will see there's an edge where the water bounces off. During torrential rains, it'll spray up in the air, and you'll wonder why you have this leak right at the foundation of your house. That's the last place you want water dumping is right at the foundation of your house. So we have a very flawed product. Why is this product flawed? Well, they build it so that they can keep it tight to the house. You could see how it has shoulders. If you could put it on the center of the round portion, that would be ideal, but what happens? Now, your downspout is not tight to your house. It's kicked off of your house if you do something like that. So we wanted to build something that remedies this problem, that it doesn't leak at the house, it keeps the downspout tight to the wall, nice clean look. So we came up with this gutter adapter and we wanted it to be a clean out as well. It's a gutter adapter, it's a clean out, and it's a leaf filter all in one. Now notice how we keep it flat to the wall and notice the shape for flow. No water is gonna come squirting out the back of this. We worked really hard on this. We had three prototypes, and I'm here to tell you, it wasn't easy to get the fluid dynamics to where it's at, but we have the water flowing. It's like a funnel shape, and we catch every single drop of water. None of it ends up splashing out up against the foundation of your home. Now, I wanna show you something that's really popular, and they're selling this in all the big box stores. This is really, really a problem, and I'm trying to draw awareness to this. So for price point, people are buying this. See, so they think, this is super easy. I'm just gonna put this on for the $10 that it costs and I'm gonna be fine. All the leaves are gonna hit this grate and the water's gonna fall through the grate. I'm here to tell you, we've done a lot of video and we'll show that to you right now, but the water will hit this grate and it'll just splash off the grate. So, the idea is it's supposed to filter out the leaves and the leaves are supposed to fall out the front. Never do this. This is a terrible idea. When you're trying to catch water at the downspout, why would you risk letting it go right at the foundation of the home? Once you catch the water at the downspout, once you have it caught, you want something that has a door on it. You wanna keep it caught. Now we are vented up at the top. The reason why we vented this is if your pop-up emitter freezes in the winter time, I want you to be able to get the water off your roof during a thaw. I don't want you to have that water build up in the gutter trough, and now it's gonna pull the gutters away from the fascia board. This is what gives gutters an unsightly look. So we vented it right here so you can get the water off the roof in the event that your underground is frozen and you're having a thaw. Now keep this in mind, if that happens, the ground is gonna be frozen. So when it vents right here during a thaw, it'll run away from the home on the frozen ground. So we've thought of everything here. We wanted to be able to access the pipe. We wanted to be able to get inside the pipe with a camera or with a drain snake to clean it, whatever it may be. I always wished there was a product like this. My whole career, I wished there was a product like this where I could run a camera and see where the clog is and what was clogging and then run a snake through without disassembling the entire thing. Now, if you don't wanna filter out leaves, you can remove the filter. The filter comes out. The top comes off, the filter comes out. There you go, if you don't want the filter. Cause a lot of people believe the filter is gonna clog. Well, I'm gonna tell you why that is. I'm gonna explain why that is. A lot of the leaf filters on the market, besides being very complicated to put together, they were designed for rainwater harvesting, which is great if you're gonna drink the water, you're gonna put in the work. Unfortunately, they have these very tight screens. These very tight screens plug with pollen, mosquito larva. They gotta be cleaned regularly. It's a lot of work. But if you're harvesting rainwater and it means enough to you, you'll put the work in. 
most of our clients are not harvesting rainwater to drink. They just want to basically prevent their underground buried downspout system from clogging. So we want to come up with a way to filter out those leaves. But we don't want a tight mesh that's going to fill full of pollen and mosquito larva, and then you're going to have issues because once that's plugged, you're going to have water just running out right at the leaf filter. We went ahead and we built a very aggressive screen. The reason why we have such an aggressive screen, we want pollen, we want the mosquito larva, even want the little tree buds. We want them to go right through because that's not going to plug your line. We just want to catch the leaves. Now, unlike all the other leaf filters on the market, the leaves lay flat on these screens. When the leaves lay flat on these screens, they're done. They'll form a seal. You're not going to get water through it. We made sure that we built ours where we have our screen on a really, really steep angle. We have an incredibly steep angle. We're going to accomplish two things here. We're going to have a filter that's not going to plug. We're going to have a filter that allows the leaves to fall and get wedged and build up in the bottom of the housing while still letting water fall through the drain system. It's not going to clog. It's a clog-free design. We worked really hard on the engineering of this. We had several prototypes before we reached this point. We're really proud of this. Now the pipe, it just clicks on. No tools required. That was big. No tools required. That is it. It's that easy. If you buy it for four inch pipe, you can click corrugated pipe on it or it'll fit down in PVC. I want to show you what the PVC looks like. Here's PVC. We got a ton of PVC guys out there. They love their PVC pipe. You're not going to talk them out of it. Look, we make a gutter adapter vented clean out leaf filter that fits in PVC. It fits in corrugated pipe. Our vented clean out leaf filter has UV protection. PVC does not. PVC pipe is made for inside the home and underground. It is not made to be out in direct sunlight. It has no UV protection. Our vented cleanout leaf filter has UV protection. If you're a PVC guy, that's fine, but keep your PVC low. You want to keep it buried and then go ahead and use our vented cleanout leaf filter. This is going to be fair to your customer. This is treating your customer right. Our vented cleanout leaf filter comes in two sizes, a two by three or a three by four. The way you can tell if your gutter downspout is a two by three is if you put a dollar bill up against the bottom of it and it covers it. You have a two by three downspout. If you take your dollar bill and you go to cover the end of your downspout and it fits inside it, you have a three by four. Or of course you can just measure it. It's up to you. We sell it so that it snaps on a three inch corrugated pipe or it goes inside Schedule 40, or it could be SDR 35, either one thin wall or thick wall PVC, they fit just fine. Here's four inch right here. You can see how nice that slips into the four inch PVC. Now, if you don't want the leaf filter part of it, because you think your, your customer's not gonna use it, they're never gonna clean it, it's gonna end up clogged, and the water's gonna vent right here at the vent, then take the leaf filter out. But because of the UV protection, that this gives the PVC installers, I highly recommend that you go with this gutter adapter that's not made out of PVC. These PVC gutter adapters, they get brittle and they turn yellow. Not to mention the water sprays out during the really, really hard rains. We offer this in two colors, piano black and white. And this white is a special white that matches aluminum downspout white. We worked really hard on the colors so that we had two fantastic colors to choose from. If you have any questions on this product, any questions at all, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.